everybody, I hope you're feeling well today and you've had a good day. This evening's bedtime story is a special Disney one and it's called Moana. Lots of you have probably seen this at the cinema or you may have even read the story before, so I hope you enjoy it. Even when she was little, Moana of Motunui loved the ocean. She also loved listening to Grandma Tala's stories. Moana's favourite was about the trickster demigod Maui who stole the heart of the mother island, Tafiti. According to Grandma, Maui upset the balance of nature by stealing the heart. Moana's dad, Chief Tui, believed the ocean was dangerous. The islanders were forbidden to sail beyond the reef. But little Moana felt a deep connection to the ocean and to all the creatures who belonged in it. She always wanted to help. And the ocean noticed. It gave Moana a special gift. When Chief Tui picked up Moana, she dropped the gift. Luckily, someone else picked it up. It was Grandma Tala. She believed the ocean's gift was the heart of Tafiti. As she grew, Moana worked hard to help lead her people and follow her father's rules. But when Moana turned 16, Grandma Tala took her aside. It's time to learn who you are meant to be, Grandma said. She led Moana to a hidden cavern full of ancient canoes. When Moana started drumming, she could feel the spirits of her ancestors. They were wayfinders, voyagers on the ocean. Grandma Tala's last wish was for Moana to journey across the ocean find Maui and restore the heart of Tafiti. So with the heart safe inside her necklace, Moana set sail. How do you think Moana might have been feeling right now? Hoping to do Grandma Tala's last wish. But sailing on the open ocean was not easy for Moana, especially when a storm hit. Moana and her boat washed up on a faraway island where she met Maui, the demigod. He was not what Moana expected. Maui stole Moana's boat, but when he tried to sail away, the ocean made sure Moana went with him. The ocean wanted them to work together. Maui promised to help return the heart of Tafiti only if Moana helped him find his magic fish hook. But first, they had to get past the Kakamora, an army of wild coconut clad bandits. They look a little bit scary to me, don't you think? Then they had to dive into Lalatai, the realm of monsters. Thinking fast, Moana tricked Tamatora, a crab monster, and she and Maui retrieved the missing fish hook. Along the way, Maui taught Moana how to wayfind, which is to use the sun, the stars, the moon and the ocean current to navigate. And when the journey became too difficult, the spirit of Grandma Tala returned. Know who you are meant to be, Grandma Spillet told Moana. When Moana and Maui finally reached Tafiti, the mother island was gone. Instead, there was a lava monster named Takar. Maui and Moana tried everything, but they could not defeat Takar. Then, Moana had an idea. Summoning all her courage, Moana gave the heart to Takar. And Takar remembered who she was meant to be. She was Tafiti. With her heart restored, Tafiti bloomed once again. The world was back in balance. Moana and Maui said goodbye. Their journey together was complete. Maui transformed into a hawk and flew away. It was time for Moana to return to her people. The young girl from Motunui now knew exactly who she was meant to be. She was a daughter, a leader, 
and a wayfinder. She was Moana. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. <laughs>